guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. I have no idea what this look is gonna look like, but we're just gonna freaking do it. So I've been thinking a lot about like makeup tutorials lately because the other day I put away all of my makeup that I've been sent through like PR and companies and whatever. And I just realized that I have a lot of new makeup that I just haven't used. And then I got to thinking like, oh, I'll do tutorials. But then I was like, do people actually recreate tutorials? Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like a lot of new makeup, but also like kind of just do like a get ready with me, but it's going to be inspired by Nikki Tutorials' Thanksgiving makeup tutorial because it was really pretty and really cool. And I want to see like if Beauty Guru's tutorials are actually like if you're able to legit do them or if they're just way too freaking complicated and like no one can do it. And if you guys like this, I can make it like a series like recreating beauty, beauty vloggers makeup tutorials. That'd be cool, right? Until people start saying I'm like ripping people off because I'm uncreative, but that's not what's going on here. I just literally want to see if it's like actually attainable. Um, I'm just going to get right to it and uh, let's just get started. I'm going to link the tutorial that I'm like going off of down below. And she used like one of these liquid primers or one of these liquid illuminators underneath her foundation base, which it's a big thing on Instagram right now, so we're also going to try that. I'm going to use the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Oh, God, this might be a bad idea. Oh, I forgot to say, if you guys are new to my channel, hello, subscribe, join the Starling fam. It's a good time. Yes, I'm doing Vlogmas. Everyone's asking. I'm actually going to do it. Uh, I'm actually going to try and finish it this year. I've never finished it. A lot of years I've always tried, but never finished it. <laughs> commitment issues I guess or something but anyway like I was saying if you guys are new be sure to subscribe uh, if you guys are part of my selling fam hello welcome back missed you guys so the idea behind this is that you prime with an illuminator and then when you put your foundation over top of it you should be like glowy and dewy and like shining from like beneath your makeup I'm gonna go with the born was born this way in warm beige. The idea behind this is that you're glowy from underneath, but honestly, it just looks the same. Like, foundation is meant to cover things up, so like, and this is a medium to full coverage foundation, so I just feel like it would just like defeat the whole purpose of putting an illuminator on. I kind of take back what I said, like it's actually kind of pretty. All right, so it actually like looks really pretty. <laughs> I just hope that like the foundation doesn't wear away and then I just become like the tin man throughout the day. A little cakey, but like once I, I mean, that's the thing. Like I'm gonna go in and set it all with powder. So that's like another thing that I'm just like a little confused about, you know? I'm gonna go in here with some concealer. I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan um, 07 concealer. I really, really like this concealer. It's very yellow toned. So if you don't like yellow toned concealers, you won't like this, but like it's just really, really, really nice. It's very creamy. It reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer, which if you like that concealer, you would love this concealer. It's super full coverage. You just absolutely have to set it. Like you can't not set it. Okay, I'm gonna bake a little extra. So I'm just gonna bake with the RCMA No Color Powder. I have an entire video all about how to bake your face. Um, in some other areas of my face, I just got this new translucent powder from MAC. It's this collection, Aussie De Palma. And I'm just going to set my lids with this. It's just a translucent powder. And I'm also just going to set my smile lines with that. To keep my face luminous since I did that whole like shebang, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This technically is like a highlighter, but you know what? I'm trying to stay glowy from all that extra work that I'm putting in and I'm being careful not to touch my under eyes because baking. All right, the eyes were like, I don't know. She said they weren't complicated, but I mean, they can kind of look complicated. I think the key to it is having a clean brush when you're blending it out because that can really like break this look. So. Um, she used like dark browns and stuff, but I just, I don't really want to use those tones. So I'm just going to do like a mauve -y look. Plus I have this new shadow from MAC that I really want to try out. So it's sort of going to be based around this shade. This is from their winter collection. It's called It's Snowing Extra Dimension Eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in with the Tardis 
pro to go and I'm gonna use these two shades right here so I'm first gonna take this shade it's called Stylin. it's like that dark brown that she used but it's more warm and it's a little plummy so she first started by just patting this color on and then she kept it pretty round and kind of like a halo and dark shadow looks awful on my inner corner but today we're just we're gonna freaking go for it then I'm gonna go in she used like a really small precise blending brush and I don't really have the proper brush for maybe this actually I think this one will work better okay so I'm gonna go with this one it's by Smashbox it's smaller than like a 224 and then all that she did was she went in and buffed out these edges but you don't want to blend it up too high or else it, just, it can just get super messy really quick okay that actually blended out pretty well but she did go in with a second coat so I'm gonna do that too just because it does sort of get a little splotchy so it's like looking like a little messy over here I'm just gonna go in right here with the lighter color next to it it's called drive and she just really put this right over top the or on the very tippy top of it just to sort of blend it up into the brow and to sort of like smoke it up but I don't want to take it up too high my eyes are also two different shapes like this one is way less hooded than this one so like with my eyeshadow it never quite looks the same so I'm gonna go with the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral so I'm just patting this it's really hard to talk and do this like I'm honestly a little stressed out Just slow and steady. Okay, I'm gonna work quickly because that's the best it's gonna get. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade that we initially used and pop that with this little tiny brush right here on this lower lash line because that's what she did. I'm gonna go in with this shade. This might be a bad idea, but whatever. This shade for MAC that I wanted to use this entire time and I'm gonna wet this not opaque come on come on baby might work better with just my finger then I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced glitter I don't really like that middle color but we'll see Too Faced glitter it's gold and nude beach it's like my favorite glitter literally of life I don't think I did a good job blending this. All right, well, there's one eye. That actually looks pretty. Like, does it look right? It looks cool, right? I think it looks cool. This one's definitely sharper because I think I cared more on that eye. I just have to keep going because when you're only halfway through a look, it can look really bad. It's like so uneven, it hurts my soul. The darker shade that we used on the, actually I'm going to use the 547, it's more tapered. And I'm just placing this along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take this little brush and the lighter color of the two mauves and blend that down and out inner corner i'm gonna go in with this mac palette also from the holiday collection and i'm gonna take this shade now this is sort of just where i'm doing like my own thing like i don't really remember what she did here but like this is what i want to do so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna take this shade i'm using black because that's my comfort zone All right, she used fake lashes. Uh, I don't wear fake eyelashes. Oh, look, my eyes are watering so much. I don't wear fake eyelashes anymore because of my lash growth serum. It's called Babe Lash and it's changed my life. So I'm just gonna put on some mascara and then I'll be right back. Mascara on and yeah, these are my natural, just focusing, these are my natural eyelashes. Um, because of Babe Lash. And you guys know that I used to literally have no eyelashes ever. I'll leave a link to it down below. I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. Literally, I'm not. I've tried to get sponsored by them and they just don't answer me, so that's sad. Moving on down to the bronzer, I'm gonna use Give Me Sun by MAC. I've been using this little brush from Smashbox with it. And I've really just been 
enjoying it. And Nikki only put this on her cheeks. Well, in the video anyway, she didn't put it on her temples. And I'm just like, mm, like I have to put it on my temples. For a highlight, I just got this one and it's by MAC. It's in the shade Happy Go Dazzly. Um, it's a face powder, but I've been using it as a highlight. And it's like this golden shade and it's just so pretty. If you like intense highlighters, you might not enjoy this one, but I'm not really the biggest fan of like the most intense glow highlighters you can get. This has always just sort of been my wave, like more of like a natural glowy look. For blush, Becca sent this one. It's called Shimmering Skin Pressed in Lilac Geode. And we're just gonna throw this right here where the bronzer and the highlight meet. I'm not the biggest blush person, you guys all know this. I'm not huge on doing anything with my lips. I always just like nude and glossy, but I think I'm just gonna do something a little extra because I'm doing something, I'm recreating a look. So I'm gonna use the Kylie Cosmetics Liner in Candy K. So lining your lips does make them look a little bit bigger. Maybe I should line my lips more. <laughs> that actually look, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with this Lipland um, liquid lipstick in the shade High Rise. Mm, this is too light, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put this Tartist lip paint over top of it in the shade Festival. Wait, why did I just create like the most beautiful lip combo of my freaking life? I do want to line my top lip a little bit though. This is a little bit of a darker one. This is by Revlon in the shade Nude. Wait, um, hello lip combo. Hi! Oh, this is like the most beautiful lip combo of my life. All right, so what it was, it was the Lipland Liquid Lipstick in High Rise mixed with the Tartist Lip Paint in Festival. You don't even need the Candy K lip liner, and then I'm just using the Revlon Color Stay lip liner in Nude. And like, wow, can we talk about new lip combo forever? Mmm, oh my god, it's like the perfect purpley nude. Ooh, she is alive! All right, and that is the completed look. And of course, I'm in a sweatshirt. This, by the way, it's my Choose to Love sweatshirt by my girl, Kenzie Elizabeth. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. I'm in a size large. Okay, and it's amazing. It's like the best sweatshirt ever. It's really, really freaking comfy, and she's one of my best friends. So, of course, I'm going to wear it all the freaking time. So, this is the completed look. Overall, how hard it was, I mean, you can definitely, like, recreate it. Um... You just have to really know your eye shape, I think, because this eye looks pretty good, but this eye doesn't. Would I wear this? Honestly, probably not. Um, I'm just not as extra with my makeup these days. I mean, if I was like super extra and like loved this glam, I think it's so pretty. Would I wear this lip combo? Absolutely, every day of my life. But the eyes, I don't think so. I just think they're a little too extra for me nowadays. I really toned it down. I'm like Kim K in 2016. Like I just really became very monotone with my makeup lately. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys like this idea, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely like do more to send me links or DM me people's Instagrams or just tweet me links or comment down below, whatever. And I can definitely do more of these because I think this is actually pretty fun, um, like recreating tutorials because do people actually do tutorials? Like I'd love to know. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.